Pennsylvania is all around us, and we want to help you to explore our state. Hi, I'm Beth Erickson, museum educator at the State Museum of Pennsylvania. Join me today as we explore the state symbols of Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania is home to many trees. If you had to pick a favorite tree to represent the state, what would you choose? White birch? Dogwood? Sugar maple? Mmm, I wonder if that one tastes sweet. <laughs> the hemlock tree was not the first choice proposed for our state tree. In 1927, an effort was made to adopt the tulip tree as the state tree, but it was not successful. So a new bill was introduced to the legislature in 1931 to designate the hemlock tree as the official state tree, emphasizing the history of the tree in Pennsylvania. The bill declared that the hemlock tree was the most typical tree of the forests of Pennsylvania, provided wood for the pioneers, bark for the leather industry, dense shelter in the forests, and was part of Pennsylvania's traditions and beliefs. The bill was unanimously approved and signed by Governor Gifford Pinchot. So on June 22, 1931, the hemlock tree was declared and adopted as the official state tree of Pennsylvania. The state game bird was also selected on that day. The eastern hemlock is a native evergreen or conifer tree with cones for seeds and needles for leaves. And a member of the pine family, along with other trees and shrubs known for their fragrant scent. Eastern hemlock trees have flat needles, shiny green on top, with two parallel white lines on the underside. The branches are notably droopy, giving the eastern hemlock the appearance of being delicate or feathery. The cones are small, less than an inch long. Eastern hemlock trees are monoecious, producing both pollen cones and seed cones on the same tree. Cones ripen in the fall and release seeds during the winter. On mature trees, the bark is red to gray-brown in color, thick and ridged. Hemlock bark was the source of tannin for the Pennsylvania leather industry until the early 1900s. Slow growing, eastern hemlocks take hundreds of years to reach the upper canopy of the forest. They can attain a height of over 160 feet and a trunk diameter of 6 feet, living for over 800 years. These trees thrive in cool, moist sites in ravines and stream valleys throughout Pennsylvania. Because of their height and long life, stands of hemlock trees dominate their forest sites, creating unique soil and water conditions, establishing the ecosystem in which it resides. Eastern hemlock trees provide bank stability and riparian forest cover for streams, keeping them cool for aquatic wildlife, including cold water fishes like our native brook trout. They are also a winter food source for animals such as deer, grouse, and porcupines, and essential shelter for other forest wildlife. Eastern hemlock trees are potentially susceptible to disease, environmental factors such as canker, and infestation by non-native insect pests. In much of Pennsylvania, two non-native insect pests, the elongate hemlock scale and the hemlock woolly adelgid, have caused significant hemlock defoliation and mortality. The elongate hemlock scale is a tiny insect that feeds on the sap of the eastern hemlock tree. It has piercing sucking mouthparts for feeding that it inserts into the underside of needles. The hemlock woolly adelgid is a similarly soft, small-bodied insect that can be seen on the underside of branches under a white, waxy egg mass that looks like tiny cotton balls. It also inserts its piercing, sucking mouthparts into the base of the needles and removes the tree's fluids. These pests often go undetected until it is too late. Severe infestations result in premature needle drop, branch buds are destroyed, resulting in no new growth on infested branches. Branch dieback of major limbs occurs within two years, progressing from the bottom of the tree up to the top, eventually resulting in tree mortality. Conservation efforts are in place in Pennsylvania forests to save some of the oldest hemlocks in the eastern United States and to control pests in forested areas where non-native insect pest infestation is prevalent. The eastern hemlock tree is an essential part of Pennsylvania's forests, providing a unique ecosystem that benefits plants, animals, and humans. So the next time that you are out for a hike in Penn's Woods, look for our state tree, the eastern hemlock, filtering the sunlight in the canopy above you or sprouting up from the ground beneath your feet. I hope you enjoyed learning about the eastern hemlock and its selection as the official state tree of Pennsylvania. For more, visit our webpage.